Welcome to Business Mathematics. This is Chapter 3, Ratio and Proportion. My first lesson for Ratio and Proportion is about Ratio. A ratio is a comparison of two quantities that have the same unit of measurement. It can be written in three ways. So let's say, for example, we have two quantities A and B. So we can write it as a fraction. And you read it as A over B. The ratio is A over B. You can also write them as quantities separated by a colon. So how do you read this? Okay, you also read this as the ratio is A is to B. Or you can write it as a phrase in a sentence. The ratio is A is to B. Suppose we have a right triangle whose legs are 3 and 4. So the legs of a right triangle are the sides that form the right angle. And the side of the right triangle that is opposite to the right angle is what you call your hypotenuse. So the lengths of the legs of our right triangle are 3 and 4. What is the ratio of the short leg to the long leg? We can write it in fraction form. The ratio of the short leg to the long leg is 3 over 4. We can also write it in this way. The ratio of the short leg to the long leg is 3 is to 4. Now, since we can write it as a fraction, and you know that we can write fractions as decimals and percents, so the ratio of the short leg to the long leg is 0.75, because 3 over 4 in decimal form is 0.75 or 75% when we want to write it in percent. What is the ratio of the long leg to the short leg? It is 4 over 3. Or we can write it in, in this way. The ratio of the long leg to the short leg is 4 is to 3. We can write it also in decimal form. The ratio of the long leg to the short leg is 1.25 or 125%. Guide to writing ratios. If more than two quantities are being compared, use columns. Terms must have the same units of measurement. Write the terms as whole numbers. And the ratio must be in reduced form. To be in reduced form means the terms must have no common factors. Example 3.1. Simplify ratios. Let us simplify the following ratios. 6 is to 18. 4 is to 16 is to 24. 21 is to 42 is to 14. So 6 is to 18, that is not the right way to write that ratio. That is not the simplified form because the terms have a common factor. 6 is a common factor. So 6 divided by 6 is 1. 18 divided by 6 is 3. So in simplified form, 6 is to 18 must be written in this way. The ratio is 1 is to 3. 4 is to 16 is to 24. 4 is a common factor. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. 16 divided by 4 is 4. And 24 divided by 4 is 6. So the proper way of writing this ratio is in this way. The ratio is 
1 is to 4 is to 6. How about this? 21 is to 42 is to 14. Let us write this in reduced form. 7 is a common factor. 21 divided by 7 is equal to 3. 42 divided by 7 is equal to 6. 14 divided by or divided by 7 is equal to 2. So the proper way of writing this ratio is in this way. And this is how you read it. The ratio is 3 is to 6 is to 2. Example 3.2, write as a ratio. The building employs three janitors, six security guards, and nine house cleaners. So what is the ratio of the number of janitors to the number of security guards to the number of house cleaners? We can begin by writing it in this way. The ratio of janitors to security guards to house cleaners is 3 is to 6 is to 9. This is not in reduced form. 3 is a common factor. 3 divided by 3 is 1, 6 divided by 3 is 2, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. So the ratio of the janitors to the security guards to the house cleaners is 1 is to 2 is to 3. Another way of interpreting it is in this way. For every one janitor, there are two security guards employed in the building and there are three house cleaners that are also employed in the building. 1 is to 2 is to 3. Example 3.2, write as a ratio. For each table sold, the cost is 450.5 pesos for labor, 200.75 pesos for electricity, and 150 pesos as overhead cost. So what is the ratio of labor cost to electricity to overhead cost? Let us begin by writing the ratio in this way. Although this is not yet the proper way to write it, okay? So we must write the terms of our ratio in whole numbers. So what do we do? We multiply 100 to each of the terms. And by multiplying 100 to each of the terms, we arrive at this. Is to 20,075 is to 15,000 pesos. Obviously, this is not in reduced form. So the common factor here is 25. You will divide each term by 25. And this is the result. So the ratio of the labor cost to electricity cost to overhead cost in pesos is given by this. The ratio is 1,802 is to 803 is to 600 pesos. The ratio of two lengths A and B is 2 and 1 third meters is to 5 and 1 fourth meters. How do you write this as a ratio? Let us write it as a fraction, okay? So 2 and 1 third over 5 and 1 fourth. This is what you call a complex fraction. Okay, so let us simplify it. Let us write it as one fraction. So we begin by writing the mixed numbers as one improper fraction. It is equal to 7 over 3 over 21 over 4. Let us write this as one fraction. Okay, and this is the way to do that. 7 over 3 over 21 over 4 is equal to 7 over 3 times 4 over 21. That is how we define division. This 
divided by this is equal to 7 over 3 times the reciprocal of your divisor, which is 4 over 21. 7 is a common factor. So you divide 7 by 7, that will give you 1. And this one, 21 divided by 7 will leave you with 3. And so in reduced form, this ratio is equal to 4 over 9. So again, how do you interpret that? The ratio of A to B is 4 meters is to 9 meters.